The entire Western world is, they're on a path to just cuck everyone. All of history was built by men, always has been. Yep. And a future that isn't built by men has never been tested, and I don't think it's gonna work out particularly well for mankind. Like, yeah. well, what is a queer future? Like, in what crazy perverse world are babies born in little test tubes and everyone's gay? Everyone, most of the people in America, literally just like America. Howdy folks, I'm Anthony Dream Johnson, 21 Studios here in Warsaw, Poland. I'm here with my man, Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate. Thanks for coming out, man. Good to 100%. meet you, friend. Good to Hell meet yeah. you. It's been awesome meeting you. We met last night. Uh, had some food, cigars, drinks, a lot of drinks. <laughs> a few, uh, a few, a few. You yeah, were sober before that too, for like a day or something like that. I, I quit drinking. I, I, I periodically, because for like seven years of my life, I didn't drink. Yeah. So periodically, I like quit drinking for six months at a time. So I decided to quit drinking. Yeah. Then I met you the next day. Yeah. And 24 yeah. hours later, I was drunk. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's how it goes. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm quit only, again today. I'm gonna quit yeah, again. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll, we'll work <laughs> on it, man. Yeah. It's been uh, so. Let's talk about you, though. You are you are one hell of a character in the manosphere. You were like probably the ultimate bad boy in the manosphere. Our very own Dan Blazarian, maybe even above that. Yeah, I know. I've got I've got some people who think I'm completely bad for the space. I got some people who think I make the space interesting. Let so. me make myself clear. I think you're absolutely wonderful for the space. You and your brother both. It's, 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 yeah. You this know, is, it's really nice to have someone say something nice about you once yeah. in a while. Thank oh, you, yeah. friend. Thank Fuck you. Yeah. Thank you. I think the world needs a lot more bad boys and a lot more alphas. Yeah, and I think that, you know, a whole part of being who you are and we, all the things we preach in Red Pill is being unashamedly who you yeah. are. Like, this is who I am, this is what zero I do. Apology. Zero apology. Yeah, zero apology. And I don't, it's not something I put on, it's not something I fake. People yeah. think I'm playing a character. It's like, yeah. no, this is who I am. This yes. is what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. If you don't like yeah. it, don't follow me. You know, yeah. it's just, and I think that's a whole, that's, that's basically what the Red Pill teaches. But then when yeah. people do it, some people get upset by it because they don't like what they see. Yeah. Am I supposed to hide and, and mask certain parts of my, Personality, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's talk a little bit about your history too for the guys that don't know you. You're a world champion kickboxer four times over. Yep. Uh, you're a multimillionaire, you and your brother both. Yep. You are both American and British, but yep. you live in Romania. Yep. Uh, a couple more facts beyond that? Yeah, so uh, pretty mixed up history. I was originally a chess player when I was a kid. I played okay. chess professionally. Um, my father was a chess player. And then uh, when my mother and father split up, we moved to England. Okay. And I missed chess, there was no real chess scene in England like there was in America, so I decided to, to take up the next best thing. To me, was fighting, and everyone goes, chess, to fight, because chess is seen as like geeky, and yeah, then yeah, fighting's yeah. fighting. To, yeah. to them, they're very dissimilar, but to me, they're very similar. It's still, it's So still, you were born in America? I was born in America. Fuck born yeah, in, fuck yeah. Yeah, born in Washington, D.C. on Andrews Air Force Base. So nice. I was born, on, born in the capital, and then we lived in Goshen, Indiana. Ooh. Yeah. And then uh, party town. And then, uh, yeah, moved to England. So grew up in England, gave up chess, started kickboxing, and then had a, a successful kickboxing career, made a little bit of money, and then ended up moving to Eastern Europe for a bunch of political reasons. I yeah, think yeah. there's a whole bunch of political reasons to be out here as opposed to Western Europe. Yeah, it's West my first time here in Eastern Europe at all, and I am absolutely loving it. I've toured other parts of Europe, Scandinavia, Amsterdam, Britain, shit like that. Yeah. And this is, I'm really impressed. I've heard all the stories, and it's next level. It's, it's the only place yeah. you can be free in Europe, left. Yeah. I mean, really, Western Europe is the dystopian future of the USA. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's completely liberal, it's completely cucked, it's, uh, they've passed all these laws to censor your speech. Anything they deem hateful yeah. is... is, is yeah, even tweets and shit, they'll come to even your house. Even tweets. Crazy. Bro, I, I'll send you some newspaper articles. There was a yeah. woman who misgendered a transsexual on Twitter and got arrested in front of her three-year-old kid. Yeah. Put in a jail cell for 12 Sick, hours. Man. It's like, yeah. it's insane. Because if, as soon as they pass laws saying that you're not allowed to say anything hateful against a certain group, it sounds like a good law, but then they yeah. just completely abuse the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these people are being arrested for no reason. You can't speak, you can't have an opinion. Yeah. And it's all just going downhill very quickly. So I like the way you put that though. The Western Europe is like a dystopian future for America. Because I, I was saying the other day that Eastern Europe, especially not here Poland, it almost feels futuristic in a positive way for America. It feels very positive and very masculine, very feminine here. Like it's a very healthy, uh, very healthy culture I'm seeing. Well, this I'm is loving the, it. This is the crazy thing. The crazy thing about it all is, without a family unit and without, you know, children and without people who are happy to be married and be together and, and, and give birth to, to babies, there is no future yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like, we talk about future, what's yeah. the future? I read, a, new, I read a, a newspaper article about that Desmond is Amazing kid and he was wearing a t-shirt saying, the future is queer. And I sat and, oh, and, I sat and thought, okay, That's but fucked. there is no such thing as a queer future. Yeah. It takes heterosexual sex to even create a baby. Like, yeah. well, what is a queer future? Like, yeah. In what crazy perverse world are babies born in little test tubes and everyone's gay? And it's just like, the whole thing is messed it's up. It's super retarded. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, you know, heterosexuality. Plus, plus it's wrong. The future is masculine, of course. Well, so we're working on it. All of the history has always been masculine. Yeah. 
and and, and fem- patriarchal and all that. Yeah, yeah, and females try and pretend that that's a bad idea and that we somehow oppress them, and that's why I think the biggest mistake is made because. In my experience of the world, and in fact, if you look at the, ge- the genuine history of the world, all the hell men went through yeah. was to protect women. Yeah. You know, we were the ones who died in the Titanic yeah. to protect women. We're the ones who went to war to protect our wives and children at yep. home. We, if, if men really exploited women, why did we not sit and send our women to war? Yeah. Because they can the, send their women, we we'll send nations. our women, it's a yeah. fair fight, we'll stay at home. Yeah. No, we, we, we went built, to do it. We built all of civilization and they benefit from it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and okay. Did they have a price to pay? No, they had a role to play. Yeah. They had a role, and their role was to support us. And a that very important role. And a very important role, and it's yeah. absolutely not a role to be demonized or looked down on, and it's nothing they should be ashamed of. But yeah. all of history was built by men, yep. always has been. Yep. And a future that isn't built by men has never been tested, and I don't think it's gonna work out particularly well for mankind. That's yeah. my personal view, because it's never but, been tested. Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting here going, well, yeah. it's gonna be great, we don't even know. Yeah, you know? and, I'm, and, I'm 100% the same page, man. And yeah. what we've seen so far, with a female, you know, with the female imperative on society, is it getting better? I don't think society is getting any yeah, better. Yeah, it gets worse. It gets worse because yeah. there's a whole bunch of reasons I could talk about this forever, but just even the most basic things about the fact that how a lot of women aren't instinctively territorial and these kind of things, you look at the feminist run countries. They also and can't lead men. Men don't follow women, like, period. Well, yeah, well, exactly. And they're thinking, well, if we feminize the men, they'll listen to us. Yeah, they may, the Western men that you feminize may listen, but the psychos you let in from third world won't listen to you. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> Then what? <laughs> because this is what's happening in Sweden. Yeah, they have a yeah, feminist-run yeah. government. The Swedish men have become cut, but they've let in so many psychos that rape's gone up 4,000% in two I years. Think, I think even in the West, though, the Western men, they eventually just rebel or they just kill themselves. Yeah. Suicide's super high, depression, all that kind of bullshit. See, so, yeah, that's crazy. So let's talk about this, though. So you were known as this notorious bad boy in the manosphere. You run a campsite, all these hot-ass girls and shit. You travel yeah. around the world, drive super fast cars and shit. Uh, you know, even in Romania with the, you know, the roads and shit, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. But you're a very pro-family like me. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. They probably don't believe that, but yeah. I do, because I get it. I'm Absol- on a very similar page. Abs- absolutely. They, people have this idea that you, you must pick a side. Yeah. You're a playboy, or you are absolutely and utterly a uh, complete tradcon. And yeah. I don't believe that. I was extremely happy with my upbringing. If, if you, anyone who's watched my Twitter knows, I was super, I super really believed I had the best father in the world. Yeah. And my father was absolutely a renegade. He was a world level chess player who traveled the world, played chess here and there, gambled all his money, fucked anything that moved, and that's who he was. <laughs> and he was a hero, and he's my hero. Like yeah. he was a G. Like, yeah. I never sat there and thought, oh, I wish he stayed home and watched cartoons with me. And he had three kids. And you, he had three children. And yeah, exactly. He had three children yeah. that we know about, and <laughs> maybe a couple others. And, and that's who he was. And he did his job as a father fantastically, and, and he can do it a couple days a week because a father, if you're good enough, can instill discipline and instill values. Yeah. You haven't got to be there all the time. I, I really do believe that's a mother's job and I was happy with the way I was raised and I look at him you know it's actually funny I'll tell you a quick story about him when mm-hmm. when my mom and dad split up uh, we moved to England and my sister stopped talking to my dad because my obviously my mom was upset because he split up and my dad cheated and my sister stopped talking to that and me and, yeah and me, me and my and me and my brother me and, me and, me and, can we just explain the quotation cheated. Marks cheating okay was? we can explain it we'll explain cheating yeah. um, uh, <laughs> I'll come back to it in a second. I mean, she should have expected it. I mean, just well, who it was. you know, but yeah. um, when, when my sister stopped talking to my dad, me and my brother obviously still spoke to him, and he said, boys, when you're older, you'll, you'll understand. Mm. And I'm, now I'm older, I understand. Yeah. yeah. He, he fucked a girl, so? Yeah. So? Yep. And this is what I mean by cheated. This whole idea of cheated, to me, is it's, it's, it's propagated by, obviously, Western society. It's propagated by the, the powerful females, this idea that no man should ever dare fuck anyone but them. And to me, it's asinine. I have, I have a relationship. I've been in a relationship for six years. Mm. I fuck anything that moves. She knows I do it. Yeah. And she stays with me anyway. Yeah. And, and the reality is because I've never hidden it. I've never lied about it. Yeah. It's, not, it's her choice. She can leave if she wants to leave. Yeah. She decides to stay with me because I've always been honest with who, her about who I am and what I want from life. And, and I'm guessing she enjoys the hell out of that. Well, you know, yeah. she, she sits there and she, she often says to me, she laughs. She goes, these other girls, they get with you. It makes me laugh that they think you'd ever be any other way. Yeah, like, yeah, it makes me laugh yeah, that yeah. they think you, as you are, is going to yeah. be the guy who's like, oh, okay, I'll sit home, okay, yeah. I won't go out. Like, I do what I fucking want. Yeah, it's delusional. Yeah, they, it's they, delusional. They yeah. You know, if you're, a, if you're a red-blooded male <clears throat> and, and you're living a life that you want to live, you're going to do certain things. Now, yeah. if I have a woman who I love and I have women who I fuck who I don't love, what's she got to worry about? Yeah. You know? And, and this is, the, this is the, ba- the big thing with it, and this is what I try to explain to some of the other red pill guys who don't like me is that really sexual exclusivity is just a matter of proving 
uh, that you care about the person. This is how a woman proves she cares about you. Yeah. I'm sexually exclusive to you, I care about you. That's fine, that's how women prove they care. Men can prove they care other ways. Yeah. I can say to my girl, look, you're the only one who I own a property with, you're the only one I take on holiday, you're the only one I do this, 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 and this, but I fuck a bunch of guys. Yeah. So she still knows I care about her above the others. And the reason for that too is it's all about feelings for women, right? Absolutely. They, they, if they feel you care about them, they feel you love about them, then that's it. Absolutely. Yeah, the physical stuff, it's whatever to them. Absolutely, so yeah. when guys go to me, oh, you're lying, your girl wouldn't let you do that, or she's fucking she's other people too. I'm like, no, that's not true. That's 0% that's yeah. true. She, ain't talk, she isn't talking to any other men at all. She knows what I do. And yep. she accepts it because that's who I am as a person and I've never hid that and yeah. I don't think it's an unhealthy attitude to have. I really don't believe it's unhealthy. No, I see it as a really high quality self-expression. You're just doing what the fuck you're gonna do. You're, you're honest about it, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is it. When you when all like the, the pickup guys and red pill guys that talk about frame all the yeah. time, and they're also about frame, and I say, well, well, that's basically all I'm doing. This is yeah. the life I'm gonna live. Yeah. You're either part of it or you're not. Yep. But this is the life I'm gonna live. This yeah. is who I wanna be. I wanna feel free. It's not about fucking girls. It's, to me, it's not about girls. It's about being free. I don't like the idea of anyone being telling, co- me, being telling co- me what I can do. Yeah, it's about being Cobra fucking Tate. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's about. I, I don't like the idea of having anyone, a, a wife, a chick, anyone saying you can't do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I do what I want. Yeah. If you, tell me, if you tell me I can't, I'm going to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> so, fucking great. Yeah, so, this is fucking so, awesome. So that's how it is. And, you know, they either, they either comply or they leave. And some leave and some yeah. stay. Yeah, there's Next a speaker you got to meet someday from uh, the United States, Hypnotica, Eric Von Sydow. Okay. He lives a very similar life. Uh, I think his, tr- his wife's Romanian. Yeah. He runs a strip club. He fucks all these women, but she loves him. You know, they've been together for like 12 years now. Exactly. Yeah, and kind of California is great. And he's awesome, dude. You, yeah. like, you like him a lot. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's switch topics a little bit. So... We were talking last night about Donald Trump, Alex Jones. Yeah. What are your opinions on uh, Alex Jones and then Donald Trump? Alex Jones, I think, is one of the greatest men on the planet. Agreed. I really do 100% believe. 100% agree. I, I think if, if you're going to judge a man by his passion and his patriotism, yep. then, then he's number one. Yeah. You, you, there's no one more passionate and patriotic than Alex Jones. Yeah. He loves America, yep. and he'll tell you that. Yeah. You know? and, and he is who he is, right? He is who he is. And some people say he's a bit crazy and he's a bit too far, but my view is this. It, the entire world needs balance. You need yin and yang. And if you look at how crazy the leftists have become, yeah. and how nuts they are, yep. maybe he's a tiny bit over the mark sometimes. You need some balance in the, lo- in the world, because they, they've gone so far psycho land. So you see him as a good pushback against the far left, Absolutely. crazy socialist, Absolutely. communist Absolutely. We shit. Need, we need Alex Jones. Yeah. We didn't have him. Who would we even have yeah. besides Trump himself, who's genuinely conservative anymore? Yeah. We don't even have anyone who's genuinely conservative. And what's crazy is this. I don't even really consider myself too much of a conservative. Mm. Although I'm kind of, I've ended up there, there's a whole bunch of issues that I don't care about. I, I don't care about global warming. Is it happening? Maybe. Don't give a shit. I don't. I don't I, oh, are, are you know? Some people really deny it. Some people really believe in it. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. The, I don't really care about abortion. If women want to do dumb shit with their bodies and, and fuck their own lives up and kill their own kids, go do it. Then, like, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy forcing women to have kids. I don't care. But. All I really believe in is it's a strong immigration law and, and protecting your country and putting your country first. Patriotism. And, and patriotism. And as yeah. soon as you're patriotic nowadays, you're instantly a yeah. far-right, alt-right Nazi. Yeah. Because you believe that your country shouldn't completely submit and throw its history and heritage Poland, away. of course, is amazing for that. This country, they love, they're so in love with their own country, it's amazing. Well, it's because like, they've been through heaven. shit. Yeah, they're a lot of shit. They've been through yeah. a lot of shit, and they've yeah. been fucked up a lot of times by a lot of people, and they yeah. finally got their such shit together. They're like, no, we're not losing, we're not losing this again. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing, and we all know the old adage that uh, hard times create strong men, strong yeah. men create good times, da da da. We all know that, yeah. and it's, it's absolutely true. America's had it easy for a long time. Yeah. And, and now everyone, most of the people in America, literally just like America. They're yeah. sitting there saying, oh, this is not fair, they're not nice to me because I'm this, because I'm black, because I'm Muslim, because whatever, whatever, whatever. This place ain't good, this place Victim is racist, Olympics this place, like this that. place. Well, yeah. Fucking leave then. Yeah. And they don't understand that in Go many Canada. other Yeah, well it's they don't understand that in most other countries you can't do that. Yeah. You can't come to Poland, start walking around to everyone in Poland saying Poland's a show. Yeah. You can't do that. So they, the fact they even have the freedom to do that shows how great a country America is. Yeah. But there's some there's some huge experiment going on. I'm not gonna get too conspiracy theorist with it, but the entire Western world is they're on a path to just cuck everyone and divide everyone. Suicidal. And, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. all they have to try and do is they just just divide and conquer. They just get everyone confused and upset with their own little tiny issue, their own imaginary racism, their own whatever, yeah. so they can just control us all and keep us buying shit from Amazon.com. Yeah. It's just, just consumerism, it's Amazon globalism, Prime. that's yeah. all it is. Well, let's talk about Donald Trump. What's your opinion on him? I love Trump, man. He's, I mean, he's the best we could have ever hoped for. Yeah, fuck yeah. But what kind of worries me is, considering he's the best we could ever hope for, and there's still a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't got done, yeah. doesn't that show how powerful the, the people behind all this shit are? Yeah. 
Do you know? Like, you've it's, got Trump who doesn't give a shit. It's a big fight we have ahead of us. You know? Yeah. And you've got yeah. the best soldier you could have as a president, and he's still struggling to get the wall built. He's still yeah. struggling. Still, still, people, conservatives are being censored on social we media. We picked our top alpha. We picked our top guy, <laughs> and we're still and we're still losing some, not losing, but we're still fighting hard on some of the important battles. Yeah. So if the next guy isn't Trump level or better, and yeah. I can't even think of anyone yet, yeah. we're gonna be in, yeah. we're gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. In my opinion, I think Trump's kind of setting, hopefully he clears the field. I think yeah. it's like a wrecking crew, like a wrecking ball. Yeah. So the guy's after him, I'm hoping for Rand Paul or someone like that. Yeah. And Rand Paul and these guys, they're learning from Trump, I think. Yeah. They're getting more savage, which is really good. That's what, they, that's so. what we need to do. People need yeah. to finally get their shit together and yeah. just stand up and say, no, that's yeah. bullshit, fake news. You yeah. know, it's he's the yeah. first guy in a Go long time. Yeah. yeah, but this is what you need because yep. it really is crazy that any American thinks it's a bad idea to put America first. That shows how screwed they, oh, these yeah. people's minds are. Propaganda, man, it's brainwashing. It's, it's, it's crazy because if, if Russia had the most powerful economy in the world, or China had the most powerful economy in the world, do you think they wouldn't put themselves first? Yeah. They would absolutely, it's like playing poker, when you play poker against a guy with a big stack and you've got the short stack and they put the pressure on you and they squeeze you. Mm. Wait till China rules the world. They're gonna put a squeeze on everyone. You think they're doing a nice trade deal with anybody? They're yeah. gonna put a squeeze on everyone. Yeah. And here we are as America being nice. Oh, well, this yeah. is a small country, so they'll communism, benefit more than Communism isn't very nice either. Yeah. Well, exactly. You know, they're totalitarian, and that's why they're going to win if, if we don't do something about it. So, yeah. I mean, this is, this is all the political stuff, but, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's great to have someone who's actually in the White House who actually gives a shit about America instead of giving yeah. a shit about everyone else. Yeah. First that's president crazy. in my lifetime that I'm proud of every single day. Yep. My whole life, I've never had a president like this. Yep. Yeah, so it's been, uh, waking up in America now, it's like a whole new life, man. It's yeah. awesome. It's, he's doing a fantastic job, so yeah. I can't wait for, I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm in America on election night 2020 just to oh, see, yeah. I'm going to be yeah, in New yeah. York. I was liberal. fucking a Hillary supporter on election night. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking awful. I was like, oh, you only being grabbed by the pussy? Like, it was, it was, it was fucking dope. It was really savage. I do, I do. Total, co total accident. Like, it wasn't set up like this. I was like, oh, this is great. They all end up Trump supporters. She was literally like in tears at one point when Trump won. It was, it was fucking it was bad, dude. I don't know if I should put this on camera. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, talking about the West, talking about America, what do you think it's going to take to save the West? How do we do that, in your opinion? Just the basic facts. Yeah, it's it's a big fight, and I think that you with with everything in life, it starts small and it cascades out. Okay. And when we talk about, it's it's difficult to talk about one issue without absolutely everything being linked. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So we talk about a country. Well, a country is, is is a bunch of cities, which is a bunch of states, and it's a bunch of societies, and it's, it's basically it starts. You go down and down and down and down. It's a whole bunch of families. That's all yeah, it is. Yeah. Families build societies. Societies build towns. Town build cities, and it goes outwards. So when the family unit's completely skewed and screwed up, then your whole country's gonna be skewed. skewed. Yeah. This is the reality of it. And, and even I, like I've been to 72 countries now. I've been to a lot of places. And even 73 in, now? I've been, no, been, this is 72. Okay, okay. So even in, in Eastern Europe, one of the things I noticed that keeps it together is maybe it's that, okay, not, communism wasn't a great thing, but they had communism for a long time. But maybe it's just simply they have stronger family ties here yeah. than they do in the West. Because it's tough, maybe. Because it's tougher. And also, like, okay, I'll give you an example. If I go on, I've been on dates with 25-year-old girls in Romania, 25, and they'll say, I've got to be home at 11, my dad said so. 25. Yeah. Damn. You show me an 18-year-old girl in America even doesn't give a shit where it yeah. is. You know? So even just, just basic things like that, and it keeps the, the unity of the family together. There's far less divorce. I'm not saying people don't get divorced. I'm not saying it's not perfect. But they had this idea, the yeah. older generation, you get married, you're married. Tough. Yeah. And that's how they, they stuck things out a bit more. And you yeah. know, and when families sit together, things things transcend across the whole society. America used to be like that too, but that's changed. It's feminism past 50 years and shit, so. Well, the thing, and so we talk about families. Yeah, we see families just sit together, this is gonna fix everything. Well, why do families not sit together anymore? Because what's the incentive for most men to put up with the bullshit they're getting? Yeah. What's the incentive for men to even Well, women are brainwashed too, fuck everything up at the drop of a hat. In America, we have no-fault divorce. They can get divorced for any fucking reason they want. Yep. Steal all your money, steal the kids. Yep. It's fucking crazy. It's insane. So yeah. what logical man would get married? Yeah. And this is the truth. Like, we're, we're guys who believe in family, and, and we're sitting there going, what's the fucking point in getting married? Yeah. It's, it, it's a suicide. It's dangerous as hell, yeah. 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 I really want to do it too. It's like, I know we were talking about that last night over yeah. dinner. And you know, I want to build a family, and I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I'm building conventions and, and finding speakers and ideas to, to figure out how to do that. Yep. Because I'm a 30 year old American living yep. in Florida, you know, yep. born and raised. I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? It's like so fucking dangerous. It, it's literally dangerous because yeah. you're signing up to being financially ruined. You could end up in jail for not paying a, some child support. Or this some is gambling insanity. at this point, man. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is a Western phenomenon, whereas in, in the other countries like like Eastern Europe, you don't have these problems. Yeah, so. I'm, walk, I'm walking around in Poland. Holy shit! Look, the fuck is going on with this? It's like yeah. military walking by. Shit. That's right. You ain't fucking with Poland. Yeah. But Poland, you know, uh, this is the first country I've ever seen in my life where I've never seen more families, more babies, more couples. More toddlers running around, grandparents pushing kids around. Everybody's like, not everybody. 
but it's not fucking you know magical yeah. you know Disney World here. But these people are like happy. They build families. They're together. The children are so well behaved. It's it's unbelievable. Well, I, when you talk about the children, it's, it's, it makes me laugh a lot because mm -hmm. I look at Western kids and the shit they get away with, and I think yeah. I've never seen that over here. Yeah, like, you yeah. think you're gonna scream at your parents? I'm gonna kick the fuck. Yeah, out yeah. Of you. No, these kids are happy too, man. Of course like, they yeah. are, but they're disciplined. Yeah, which is that's which right. is. Which is which gives them a foundation for life anyway. I mean, I was yeah. I, I, I was hit when I fucked up as a kid. Mm -hmm. My kids gonna get hit when he fucks up, and I'm not gonna sit there and say anything <laughs> else. I'm gonna say it. It's yeah, true. My, yeah. If I sat and told my dad to fuck off, I got a whooping. That's how my I was raised. You know, yeah. it was his house. If I didn't like it, get the fuck out. Yeah, you know, yeah. and my kids and me raised exactly the same. But we have these all these new age experiments. I think what a lot of this stuff comes down to is it's just new age right. talk which hasn't been tried and tested. Yeah. I was talking with a girl once and I was saying about how I got hit and I'm gonna hit my kid if he fucks up. I'm not saying I'm gonna abuse my kid, I'm not saying I'm gonna beat my kid up. I'm saying if they make a mistake, they're gonna get slapped. And she goes, you can't do that, that that's bad for them, it hurts their development. And I said, since the dawn of human time, since humans existed, kids got hit when they made mistakes. Yeah. Since the dawn of human time, we still managed to go from a small tribe to populate the entire earth, we still went to the moon, we still put the Panama Canal, we built cities, built the pyramids, we did all these amazing things with kids getting hit. Built America. We built America, and you're yeah. saying that it's bad for development. Well, look at all the things we've achieved. Yeah. And now you're coming along saying we must stop immediately. Yeah. And you don't know the future. All I know is a past where kids had discipline yeah. and, and things were fine. Yeah. So now you're yeah, gonna yeah. come along things and say- were fun. People were chopping their dicks off, all this tranny shit. Like, yeah, and now look what's happened. Yeah. And, they're like, and, and none of the, all this is new age garbage. And yeah. a lot of it's just down to a complete lack of discipline. Garbage. But it is. Yeah. When you remove discipline from a child's life, then they, they lack the ability to be disciplined on Especially themselves Especially boys, right? I mean, boys and girls are different, obviously, and the boys without that, they become little pussy, you know, so by bitches and shit. Well, this, this is the thing. Life is <clears> difficult. <throat> Rocky has the best quote on it. I can't remember exactly, but nothing's going to beat you up as hard as life. Yeah. This is it. Life is difficult. I, yeah. Everyone has bad news all the time. Pe people come to me and they think, oh, yeah, you got this great life. Bro, I'll tell you something. This is God's honest truth story. I bought 30 grand of a shit coin about two years ago, and it got hacked a year and a half ago. I didn't give a fuck. I read the same story. On the way to Poland, I checked with $676,000. Damn. And so shit happens to people. Did you, you say know? it was shit coin? You mean Bitcoin? No, it was some little tiny oh, coin, okay. some project. What the fuck? Is it? Some the fuck is shit, shit coin, coin <laughs> like a shitty, <laughs> shitty Bitcoin. But um, but shit, the things happen to people, and, and yeah. things are going to happen to everyone. And even if you live the perfect life, you're still going to have bad experiences because everything's relative. Yeah. So small things going to be big. Yeah. And you have to learn to get on with it and be disciplined. And if you don't have a disciplined upbringing, you don't learn to go through hard times, you're just going to end up one of those people who just is a complete feather in the wind. You just succumb to your emotions. Yeah. And that makes you either a pussy or, as a man, also makes you dangerous. Mm. These people, these serial killers and these school shooters and these all these things, these are people who just give in on their emotions instantly. 